Hey YouTube, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Today I'm going to show you my VATS build for Fallout 76. It is a strong endgame build that is deeply satisfying and while it doesn't fully maximize DPS, it makes it more convenient to play than other VATS builds. While it benefits from attacking from stealth, it is strong enough to not require it as I find it slows down my gameplay. To be successful in this build, you'll need a few things. The proper special and perks, the proper gear, which includes weapons and armor, and the proper mutations. We'll go over the special first. This build requires high perception, agility, and luck. We use agility because it gives you action points, which fuels your vats. You'll need perception so that you're accurate in combat and it has uh, the critical rifle damage perks that we'll talk about later. And finally, luck, because it has all your VATS related perks and fills your crit meter faster. We'll go over the perks first, starting from left to right. Starting with strength, we only have two points in it to afford bandolier so that all the ammo that we'll be carrying will weigh significantly less. The main ammo that we'll want to look out for is the .45 and the 5.56, which are mainly rifle ammo. .38 ammo does about 15% less damage, but is far more plentiful, so that might be a weapon receiver mod you might want to attach to your rifles. We have 11 points in perception, and there are three main perks that I'm interested in. Concentrated fire, so that we can target specific body parts, which in our case will be the head, so that consecutive attacks will increase the hit chance. We have tank killer, so we can bypass armor, which is very important for end game enemies. And commando, to do additional damage using full auto rifles. It is important that our rifles are full auto, as they cost less in vats and become quickly more accurate with concentrated fire. I only selected one of each level of commando, so I can switch them out for pick-locking perks when I'm adventuring. On to endurance, where we have four points. Cola Nut was very helpful in early game, when your action pool was low and regenerated slowly. The perk allows a single Nuka Cola to not only fill your thirst meter, but also quickly replenish your action points. In my build, I use chem resistant so that I can near constantly be hopped up on drugs without getting addicted to them. I have drugs like Psycho or Buff Tats that increase my damage by 15 to 25% and is hotkeyed. If you don't like the idea of carrying or using chems, you can replace them with one star perks of both Sunkissed and Photosynthetic so you can regen both radiation and health during the day. For Charisma, we have a minimum of 3 points. I nearly always have Travel Agent equipped, and when solo, I use Lone Wanderer to take less damage, but to also regenerate action points quickly. The reason I also have 3 points in Charisma is so that I can equip a 3 star hard bargain when I need to sell. When I'm adventuring with friends, I unequip Lone Wanderer and will equip Tenderizer and Suppressor. For intelligence, I have 8 points, where 5 points is always reserved for gunsmith. And then depending on the situation, I'll typically have a 2 star first aid to heal more, and 1 star batteries included for lighter energy weapon ammo, including fusion cores. The 3 extra intelligent points allows me to swap in armorsmith or weaponsmith when I need to mod armor or repair my weapons. And in the rare situations that I use power armor, I have power patcher, so my armor takes less damage. For agility, we have 13 points. We have action girl to regenerate action points, evasive to deal more damage, white knight to take less armor damage, which is important because 99% of the time we won't be using power armor. We have Gun Fu, which is important and convenient at the same time, as it allows you to automatically switch to a new target after you kill an enemy in VATS, plus do more damage to the next target. Coupled with Adrenaline, you'll be doing a lot of damage. 
If you're not concerned about repairing your armor and finding Ballistic Weave, you can remove White Knight and add to Gun Fu and Adrenaline for more damage. Finally, with luck, we have 15 points. Five of them are always locked in with Starched Jeans and Class Freak because we'll be mutated. We'll have max perks of Grim Reaper Sprint, Four Leaf Clover, and Critical Saver, which all helps you become much more effective in VATS. There will be times that you'll need to switch out one of these perks so that you can equip Super Duper. Coupled with either Ammo Smith or Chemist, I'll be able to craft double ammo or chems. Just remember to switch it back out otherwise, it can make a big difference in combat. When it comes to gear, I initially went with pistols because, you know, pistol gunslinger. And while good in early game, once we went east and started facing off against level 45 plus enemies, it became increasingly harder, if not impossible solo. The only reason I may have survived as long as I did was because I had an explosive 10mm and the marsupial mutation. We use a rifle because of its increased range and damage. The most important legendary trait are typically VATS related, which are on this gun. Uh, either decreased VATS cost by 25%, anti-armor, meaning more damage and less bullets being used, and 50% increased damage to crits since you'll be critting every 3-4 to four shots. Explosive and increased fats hit chance are great of course, uh, as is the decreased weapon weight because rifles are significantly heavier than pistols and have no perks that decreases the weight. Mods make a huge difference as they affect the cost of each shot in vats. Refer to the Fallout weapon wiki on what to use, but the fastest tip is to use dot sights over scopes and quick reload magazines over piercing or perforating ones. When it comes to armor, all that truly matters in my opinion is one legendary trait. Increases action point refresh rate. This made a huge difference in combat for me. What used to take a good 5-10 to 10 seconds to fully refill my action points now takes about 2 seconds. Bonuses to agility and luck are recommended to increase your action pool and to fill your crit bar faster. Armor mods are very important as well, and I'd find a way to always add ultra light to all of them as they provide a bonus to your action pool, not to mention it also helps with your weight limits. One thing of note as stated before, this build does not use power armor as it'll disable all of your armor's action point bonuses. There are times when it's unavoidable, in which case I recommend using an excavator power armor for the added carry weight modded with a core assembly torso mod for increased action point refresh and calibrated shocks for your legs for added weight capacity. The last thing we'll touch upon is mutations. Since we have starched genes and class freak, the more mutations you have, the better. But there are a few critical and highly recommended ones for this build, including marsupial, eagle eyes for increased crit damage and perception. With the addition of backpacks, the loss of one strength is nothing, as well as bird bones for increased agility, which means more action points. I've taken quite a few more mutations, but they're not required specifically for this build. So that's my VATS rifle person build. Let me know in the comments below what kind of build you're using or what modifications you use in your VATS build. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Check out the rest of my channel or my blog, nightknowledge.com. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.